I think the era of uninterrupted dialogue with Pakistan is over. Actions have consequences. And in so far as Jammu and Kashmir is, uh, is concerned, I think 370 is done. So the issue today is what kind of relationship can we possibly contemplate uh, with Pakistan. Uh, Rajiv suggests that perhaps India is content to continue at the current level of relationship. Maybe yes, maybe no. What I do want to say is we are not passive and whether events take a positive or a negative direction, either way we will react to it. Bangladesh, you know, since its independence, our relationship has gone up and down. And uh, it is natural that we will deal with the government of the day. Uh, but we also have to uh, recognize that there are political changes and the political changes can be disrupted. Uh, and clearly here we have to look for mutuality of interest. Going further east, there is Myanmar, which is both relevant and remote. Uh, at the same time. Uh, and uh, here again, I think the Northeast, the context of the Northeast, our Northeast, uh, is the overriding one. And we today, I think, have to find a, a balance between the government and other stakeholders because uh, that is the reality. But as we look at Afghanistan, I think the basics of statecraft should not be forgotten. Uh, there is International Relations 101 at work here. So when we uh, today review our Afghan policy, I think we are very clear-eyed about our interests. We are not confused by inherited wisdom uh, that is before us. And we must appreciate that the Afghanistan with the presence of America for us is very different from the Afghanistan without the presence of America. Where Maldives is concerned, again, uh, we've had ups and downs. Ups and downs, not just in the nature of the region. The, uh, there have been ups and downs in our own uh, approach to Maldives. You know, we've had the 1988 intervention, but yet we were very impassive in 2012 when there was a change of government. So. You can see that you know there's a there's a certain lack of constancy here, but uh, I would say that uh, you know it is uh, a relationship in which we are very deeply invested, and there is today a recognition in Maldives. Uh, certainly, I saw that in my recent visit uh, that this relationship is a steadying force uh, as they uh, get into. Uh, uh, somewhat choppy waters where uh, their own uh, prospects are concerned, especially in terms of the economic challenges. For every country in the world, neighbors are always a conundrum because neighboring relationships for every country in the world is the most, are the most difficult. And they can never be solved. They are continuing, they are continuing relationships which will always throw up problems. So when people sometimes come and say, you know, that's happened in Bangladesh and this has happened in Maldives. I think they need to look around the world and tell me which country in the world doesn't have challenges and problems and complexities vis-a-vis -vis its neighbors. I think it's in the very nature of being a neighbor that this will happen. And in fact, the very closeness I mean, which is the definition of a neighbor, is actually the complication. 